the houses in particular we are talking about the mars in the 12th house so if you happen to be a mars in the 12th house this video is for you also if you're just coming here to learn astrology or you know somebody that has mars in the 12th house because you you know you just want to learn from the kid welcome to my humble abode my name is crew aka a rainy storm i am your cosmic root work astrologer specializing in evolutionary astrology so if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can i'm also doing general readings at this time for barter and trade and tip and donation base at this current given state and time i also have healing your chironic wounds course available so if you would like to know what it is as we're going through our aries uh chiron and aries transit right now you can learn a little bit more about what that means in wherever aries is placed in your chart since we've had mercury conjunct chiron or meet up with chiron i would say march 20th it will also meet up april 15th and it'll also meet up there may 7th and it'll just be in chiron and aries in general so if you'd like to learn a little, little bit more about what that means and pertains to where aries is in your chart and also how to support you in alchemizing that energy that course is also going to be available down below also too if you would like to support my channel you could definitely donate by buying me a ginger beer down below that link is there you could also subscribe to my Kofi channel by using that same link um, to follow or if you would just like to support one time or monthly you can also do that as well so y'all make sure y'all check that out other than that and also too I forgot to mention in some of my other videos my astro travels is now out so if you would like to see some of my astro traveling videos me being a North Northern Sagittarius and traveling through my locational or astro cartography lines right now I'm currently on my North Northern Sagittarius line and my MC and a little bit towards my Venus line as well you can see my journey with that too so let's go ahead and get on to it we're going to be closing off this with mars in the 12th house so let's talk a little bit about mars and then we'll kind of segue into the 12th house mars is the energy it rules over uh aries and it also rules over scorpio uh this is where we can see the martian energy that is invoked inside of you this is the energy that gives you passion energy drive this is also the energy that gives you that you'll see when somebody is angry or upset their anger is housed in the mars energy this is also where you can see your weapon of choice your physical weapon of choice or the choices that you do when you throw in them oh okay with mars energy as well you can also see with mars going through the 12th house someone who is um someone who has basically their sexual energy with mars here and also their creative energy you can alchemize your sexual energy into creative energy here with mars and so when you have mars in the 12th house which is the pisces house of your subconscious mind the dreams the acoustic records your hidden fears hidden enemies um emotional state spiritual realm all those kind of stuff dream traveling and all that stuff you could definitely see somebody who has sometimes very volatile dreams they can even have nightmares sometimes depending on what's in their 12th house but usually or you could have somebody who just has like a very vivid and wild active imagination okay like their their dream world is very just a lot be a lot going on here their subconscious mind is just a lot going on here there can also be a lot of suppression because the 12th house is a hidden house so there also can be a lot of suppression when it comes to your anger with mars here they could be somebody who just has a lot to say but maybe doesn't really say it uh or uh, doesn't express it you know because it's hidden in that 12th house and so it kind of like bubbles up over time and then when they get angry it all like comes flooding out if they even choose to express it okay i'm sorry boom sorry baby sorry boogie um but yeah if they choose to also express this energy as well because like i said it's hidden in there very intense mental and emotional but also very uh powerful spiritual capacities as well this is where you can see the spiritual warriors okay that dabble in the 12th house as well here too um you can also see uh somebody it's hard to express desires as well too because 12th house is like where you take those uh dreams or those things and you make those things real but the, since it's housed in the 12th house it could be suppressed here also too um powerful dreaming lucid dreaming 
um, having outer body experiences, especially here with the 12th house. Introspection is also a big thing as well, but mind is power. Um, wherever Mars is, is where you gain the most, like I said, vigor and vitality. And so your mind is very powerful. Anything, this is the type of energy, it's like anything that you put your mind to can manifest very quickly, especially with Mars here, because there's a lot of energy in, um, there's a lot of energy going through and vitality going through this uh, 12th house. Even if it's not outwardly expressed, it's always like subconsciously being funneled through the 12th house and stuff like that. So whatever it is that you focus in your mind, your mind into, especially with Mars in the 12th house, is something that you can also see quickly manifest into your reality. So you just want to make sure that you're like checking in with yourself checking in with your subconscious mind checking in with your spirit and seeing like what's really going on in there because it can tell you a lot about what's happening in your outer world with mars here specifically um also too you could feel like especially with mars here since we're talking about like fighting or anger energy there could be a lot of self like i know we say like enemies and stuff like that but you can feel like you're your own worst enemy right so this is like an energy field where we have to go through or go i would say in the depths and deep into the mind and, and rework or doing the reworking of like removing those blockages removing the hidden fears removing the hidden uh things that keep us suppressed um psychologically this can be a lot for somebody with mars in the 12th house um sometimes you can see depending on what sign is here and what's aspect in this energy but somebody somebody who can deal with a lot of or you know just escapism wanting to escape from their emotions wanting to escape from just a lot of fears and emotions and stuff like that but they spend a lot of time working through those things internally or could spend a lot of time working through those things internally but not necessarily expressing what it is that they're feeling here so you just want to take the time when you can to like work through um when you can really work through those like hidden emotions and fears with mars here because mars is giving you the tools it's giving you the weapon to like really cut through those things that have like been holding those mental blockages back you can also see because 12th house rules uh past life somebody who might have been fighting in past lives fighting in their dreams um but specifically in past lives you could see somebody who maybe like was like a spiritual warrior or maybe you were like an actual warrior in a past life as well too with mars here in the um 12th house um yeah confronting deepest fears exploring subconscious patterns could be a big thing you can also too with mars here help people explore and really get into their um some conscious patterns and stuff like that somebody who is able to because they're able to cut through and shift through like those mental capacities this is where you can see somebody who's like a like great counselor or great again life coaches i think i said that before uh, mars in the eighth house uh great um able to be a support or alchemist of the mind and energy and things like that and so that's a little bit what i have for mars in the 12th house we have concluded the mars through the houses series like i said next week we will jump into jupiter through the houses um yeah make sure y'all like share subscribe and comment down below also too if you would like to buy me a gingerbread to support this channel you definitely can with the link below also too make sure you subscribe with that same link to my Kofi page and also too if you're interested in learning how to alchemize that aries energy wherever aries energy is in your chart learning more about your chiron your deepest wound placement in that particular area you could definitely check that as well okay all right I will see y'all on the next videos next week and I hope you have enjoyed. I hope the eclipses have brought y'all any everything that you wanted and needed. Okay, because you know eclipses can be tricky. But other than that, I'll see y'all on the next one. It's already so I'm checking in, checking out without a doubt. Deuces.